I have a piece of advice for you that's going to make someone in your stateroom very happy. Hey howdy hey Disney Cruisers, I'm Ashley. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you have already joined this lovely Disney Cruiser family, then give me a big like down below so everyone knows that you're here, or say hi in the comments. If you love Disney cruising and you're obsessed with it or you've never been, but you will be obsessed with it because everyone becomes obsessed with it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another Disney Cruise video. I don't know if there's anything about the Disney Cruise staterooms that I hate. I think they are pretty perfect. They even have hooks in places that I didn't even know I needed the hooks, but they've came in super duper handy. Storage is great. The space on the counter is great. TV moves to wherever you want to go. The fridge is big enough to hold a wine bottle. The closets are large enough where you can unpack if you want to. They're just wonderful rooms. There's not really many things I can say that are negative about it. I think Disney has thought of everything except one thing, which I don't really know how they can fix but it's just something you have to deal with on all the rooms on all the ships. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the door. The door that you exit, not the veranda door, not the bathroom door, not the in-between door, the door where you go out into the hallway. The door is loud. There is no getting around it being loud. I know a lot of you know that to make a door quiet when you shut it, you have to push the handle down and keep it down until it's closed. And then when it's all the way closed, after you close it gently, you release the handle and then you can get by without making any noise. But on the Disney cruise ships, when you release that handle afterwards, it clicks. It is a loud click. This doesn't really bother us at nighttime. My kids are so tired that they fall asleep right away. We have the TV on still. We open the door sometimes to go up and get drinks or we have room service come. It doesn't bother them. The time where it is kind of bothersome is in the morning. If there's someone who wakes up early and likes to go roam the ship or go to breakfast or go work out, you are going to hear them leave. The reason why I always leave early in the morning is because my youngest daughter wakes up earlier and she gets hungry. So I would always go up and get her breakfast and bring it back down to her. Sometimes I might bring her hot chocolate because you know, vacation life. So not only am I making a noise with the door when I'm leaving, but I also make it when I come back into the room. There have been times where I've been able to kind of like keep it open just a little bit and it didn't shut while I was gone. I was pretty impressed with myself, but you never know, it could slam shut at any second. If this is a struggle for you, like you're saying, well, my kids wake up early and they're gonna need breakfast, so I'm going to have to go leave to get them food. On your first day there at the breakfast buffet, go ahead and grab some of the containers of milk and the containers of cereal. They have closed containers, like the little snack size containers of cereal. Grab some of those, keep those in your room, grab some cartons of milk and keep that in your fridge. That way if you have somebody that wakes up that just has to eat before everyone else is ready to leave the room, then they can eat some cereal. There are places like cabanas where you can get spoons. Might be a good idea at some point to take some of those back to your room and keep them there as well. But you won't need a bowl because the cereal comes in the containers that are like bowls. But you also could do this with other things. If you wanna go get some fruit at one point and keep some fruit in your fridge, whatever you think will last, yogurt, try and think of some things that you can keep in your room to where you always don't have to go out and get it. You could also do this for snack time. You can stash some snacks in your fridge or in your room as well. That was kind of my solution for helping us to get ready faster in the morning without waking everybody up. So just wanted to put it out there, FYI, the door is loud. If you think the door shutting loudly on a cruise ship is weird, then you should check out the video where I talk about actual weird things that happened to me on my cruise adventures. I will see you in the next one. Toodaloo cruisers.